Hello and welcome to the fight ship. I think this is gonna it's gonna be the last uh, actual splatting for a little bit, and then we'll go to we'll go to Salmon Fest after this. But yeah, well, we see. So yeah, I was asking uh, Sammy what he thought about my time travel stories that we talked about last time. I just I think it's interesting to not like do what everybody else does and just focus on like the time travel itself. Like it's it's just a novel concept. It's a novel concept. Yeah. Yeah, I can go with, like, the whole genealogy of how I thought about it. Like, it kind of, most of my ideas come up by accident. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's like, how ideas happen. Yeah, have you ever, like, seen people, like, an analyze names? Like, this name means this, this, and this. And I'm what? like, yeah, that's great. But ha when I come up with naming characters, I think of a placeholder name, and then eventually I just never get around to naming it the actual name. Yep. I think of, oh, I'll just call it, I'll come up with a concept, I'll say, I'll call him this. And I say I'll call him Joe McGee, and that's and I'm like I'll change it eventually to something more fitting, and I never do. But to be fair, that's somewhat. I mean, unless there's like a lineage to the name, I and mean, I know. So, but like a lot of names are just named like that, so I guess it's somewhat realistic. Oh, I've always I've always wondered what it'd be like if like you could actually, because because real life doesn't always make a very good story, and I, so I've always wondered. What if someone like just got a comic of my life and it was exactly my entire life? How bored would they get <laughs> of like what of like reading or watching a show like that just records every minute detail about a life? Like, like, like I just imagine a super slow-paced thing where like every like hour of every like day uh, gets I'm like. I think I got squid. Uh, uh, squid bag. Uh, I think I got squid bagged. Dang. Happens all the time. Yeah, I was just thinking, what if there's a story where they, where it literally focused in, and shows like, like, like every day, like you get another hour of someone's life, and it's like yeah, that super would be life. a little dull. And, yeah, it would be like crazy, not fun to watch. But I, I almost want to see. I almost want to see what it's. Uh, I almost want to see what it's, uh, it almost is, I guess, but it's interesting to see how that would go. I mean, it wouldn't go well, but a, a more pliable interesting reason is so people think, uh, so people think you can come up with, so obviously it's thought up by a lot, like, or at least somewhat, well, there's the idea that you can, like, find out, like, you can fit, you can learn stuff about people from their dreams, right? Huh, I... So here would be, so here's, so here's something uh, I was thinking about. What if I, what if I decided, so I say, hey, let's write it. So here's actually, here's a story, uh, that idea that thought, I thought about. What if you told an entire story through dreams and all the dreams of this one person and you try to make it so you can piece together the life of the character from oh. all the dreams you talk about? And hmm. then I thought, what if I just, like, started writing down my dreams and posted it and said that's the premise and see if people could figure out my life? <laughs> like, well, like yeah. it's interest. it would probably produce a better result if you actually tried and did it, like, like manufactured it. But I, do think yeah. it, I just think it'd be an interesting experiment to see if people were trying to dissect dreams, how much could they find out about me if they literally knew nothing? Or if they thought it was, like, a fictional character, so they're just... Oh. Well. Yeah. You can't dissect my dreams because I don't remember them. Yeah. Oh, I that's... think it's a like a vitamin shortage thing. But don't really? ask. Well, do you always I think have there's... Do you know that you always have dreams cuz sometimes you just don't have dreams? I I I'm pretty sure. Uh, have you ever had a, have you ever had uh an instance where like you don't have any dreams, and, like, it feels like you just blink, and, like, it's suddenly, like, day. I don't think so. That's happened to me. We might have talked about this on the channel even before. Because <laughs> uh, eventually these conversations are going to circle on to topics we've already talked about, but... And we won't even know. But, yeah. No, I, I clicked... Like, I... Like, no, I've had times where, like, I literally... It to me it feels like I blink and like suddenly daytime. That'd be the worst. 
What is... I mean, mm. I kind of like it. It's really nice that that happens because then... Because I'm all... Ref I'm like, I mean, I actually went to sleep. I'm refreshed. But like, sometimes I find it hard to fall asleep. So it's really nice when I'm just playing. It's like, oh, I don't have to do that anymore. Time to wake oh. up. Mm. Oh, the no. worst part of my life is waking up in the morning. Yeah, but the thing with the blink and like you blink and you miss it sleep is it never feels like you woke up. It feels like oh, huh, I'm because you because it literally feels like you blink and suddenly it's day and it's. Yeah, having never experienced it, I can't really judge. Oh, uh, it's really weird. But like. It's like I've like once or twice in my life, so it's not like common, but I always really like that. Um, stage one containment imminent, and I see a roller track leading up to our base. Are right, you taking your base? I'm gonna try to get. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. No. Oh. Oh my gosh! I actually got it. I got in, but I, I don't have any ink, ink left. No. No. So that went poorly. Yeah. yeah. These are all. So yeah, I'm so glad you're all listening to my half-baked like ideas mm. of what might be interesting for a story. Like. Uh. Yeah. Oh, uh, just like concept. Because there's a bunch of. Because sometimes you'll like watch the same old plot and you're thinking like. A plot based around, like, this would be nice for once. Hmm. No. Anyhow. I'm glad y'all think the time travel plots are interesting. Because, right. again, it's interesting because right. time travel is pretty overdone, but I do think there's stuff that hasn't really yeah. been... No, I mean, I'm sure, um, actually, if you guys in the comments can, like, fill me in with times where this has happened, I'm sure, like, I wouldn't be surprised if time travel stories existed like the ones I proposed. Uh, in fact, I know for a fact that I'm not that time travel because I based off someone else's story. I know for a fact time travel stories exist, at least similar to my first idea, and then the idea where stuff's constantly changing. I I know time people have made time travel stories like that. I just find it cool, especially since it's not done very often. Anyhow, plus it offered me something I could easily talk about for a little while. Because I hmm. really like talking about that, so all the words came easily. Except for when they didn't. When I just hmm. st started for five minutes straight. Those weren't the best of times, but... Yeah. The main time travel scale, of course, is... See, the main time travel scale is... Changeability to... Changeability to not changeability. You know? Yeah. How mutable is reality? Closed time, time loops uh, where nothing is changeable is can be really fun, but also somewhat uh, disturbing because it implies that there is no such thing as free will. So. Hmm. Just that small thing. But they're really fun, I think. So yeah, future me, you better do that. Like, you, you better cut this out. Editor's note. Please cut this out. Anyhow. Uh, you know what I can talk about? Hmm? Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm pretty good at talking about Doctor Who, actually. And I have to say, if I was going to say anything. Doctor, Doctor Who is, like, somewhat... Doctor Who, like, stays, uh fiercely in the uh, fun time travel zone. It goes, <laughs> uh... Some moments in time are fixed and can't be changed, but most are. Or at the very least, some moments of time are fixed and really shouldn't be changed. Because that screws mm, yeah. all of time up. But not... But they technically can be, if you... But, like, time trap... But Doctor Who is so long-running that any consistency is, like practically by accident at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, like, every time... Like, it feels like every time travel system under the sun has been used. Like... 
like to like time travel like there's been time travel like there's been in episodes where uh, a stable time loop is made uh, to the point where uh, the plot of the episode uh, this is actually true it's actually and it's actually considered one of the be best uh, episodes but there's a time travel plot uh, one of the plots where things are rigid enough that they literally send that 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 like that at the end of the episode they literally send a transcript of exactly what happens to the to like the doctor and they you and they use and the, like a bunch of the closed time loop stuff happens because they literally send a transcript of what happens in the episode uh, mm. uh back back in time so well not back in time uh so it's so it's so it's as closed as that to stuff where uh as i said it's a really bad idea to change fixed moments so of course they had to do that once at least once and uh, uh, or at least once, and so there's a bunch of times where there's uh, there's a bunch of times. So there's one time where all of reality breaks because they changed the fix moment. There's another time. Uh, the first uh, during the first Doctor's run early on, uh, they were uh, it was a big rule to not try to change history. Hmm. Uh, and then there's stuff like. Like, how much you can change time in that series, like, changes so much. Mm. And then there's a, there's a bunch where they just do a bunch of stuff and don't really care that much, and it completely doesn't change anything. And then I think there's, like, an episode in, like, the new series where, like, they have to stop, like, a subtle change. Like, mm. like a su one subtle thing will, like, lead to stuff, and they have to go off to do that. Like, and, and I'm pretty... And, and all the things I mentioned are like episodes, like in the main series. These aren't even like side things. It's because it's like a fifty. It's an over fifty year long show. Yeah. It like consistency was never an option. Yeah. <laughs> over yeah. that long a term, but it's interesting. It changed so much. Uh. So yeah, every type of time travel, I really think. That's like a like a series that's gone on for so long that kind of needed to like change things up. But like, yeah. I'm just thinking about Sonic 06 again and just how within the span of this game, like there's <laughs> two different types of like, like first of like Silver and Blaze go back, to, back in time with the intent of like changing history but then later like silver and shadow end up going back in time and end up doing something that earlier and later earlier in the game is referenced to that they had always had done that like it was always going to lead up to that moment where they went back in time and changed that so like it was already in effect but then like but they but so, so like so they so so they ha so like so closed effect, they have to have always gone back and done that, except for yes. some of the changes which don't have to always be like that. And there's no distinction between the two. Like, <laughs> there is I know, no like, distinction. Because I know I remember zero distinction. Actually, this goes back to the story I was talking. Uh, I remember there was a show I watched where like time travel worked like a specific way, and then like specifically, uh, someone like made like a different time time thing that like hmm. I remember a show where like time was immutable. But then someone like found a way around it. But that was like a huh. plot point, not. But uh, that was a plot point. Sonic 06 just does whatever it wants to. Uh, like, it's got like, like they tra time travel with the same method. Anyone with two Chaos Emeralds just can open a time portal. Surprise is not all of them. Like that's the uh, that's that's uh, one of my big pet peeves is people just not taking the time. And then just also like no one really like Lost seems to it. note any like seems to. Like consider that their time travel could ever have negative effects, and it never does because, like, yeah, the like, plot. But like, it's like, weird, like I... Silver and Blaze, for example, go back in time to like change history. But if they changed history, because they are from two hundred years into the future, but like, if you think about it, 
if they changed history so that the world was not destroyed by like a god of fire, um, then they you you'd think that if they essentially changed history like that, they would like erase themselves from existence. Well, yeah. Well, sometimes that is. It's with, within different happen. rules, but like, yeah, yeah, cause. Uh, yeah, that's it. Because yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting thing where like you don't necessarily have to erase your right, entire. But like, yeah, yeah. So it's just I, I don't know. I just think like the real the real problem here is just the fact that one sense of time travel changes history, and the other is just a time loop. Oh yeah. Like and I really a character. Like a character named Mephilus the Dark, essentially, who earlier in the game con name? comments on knowing Shadow from somewhere, but is, is his name really Mephilus the Dark? His name is Mephilus the Dark. I and and people trusted this guy at certain points. Like he's the basically he wow. um he told um Silver and Blaze that they could go back in time to change history by apparently killing Sonic the Hedgehog, because that would, um, that would totally stop a, like, f terrible future from happening, because apparently Sonic the Hedgehog is who's gonna ca cause this, like, apocalypse. Like, I don't know like... how they trusted anyone whose name is literally Mephilus the Dark, but... I mean, Sonic 6 is, like, a bad game for other reasons, so I didn't yeah. even know that this was, like, a part of... I didn't know there was time travel madness. But yeah, think... anyway, like, earlier in the game, Mephilus, like, encounters Shadow and remarks about knowing Shadow from somewhere, whereas Shadow has never met this guy in his life. L later on, he and Silver end up traveling back in time to find out about the, um, the, Sol the failed Solaris project ten years before the events, uh, the present of the time of the game. And find that some experiments were happening on Solaris, which split it into two beings, Iblis and Mephilus. Shadow eventually, uh, Shadow and Silver at the scene end up trapping, like sealing away Mephilus and Iblis, or else that disaster would have just happened right there and then. Or the disastrous future would have just happened right there and then if they wow. hadn't sealed away. Iblis and Mephilus. But when Shadow seals away Mephilus, Mephilus remarks that he will remember Shadow. So then that comes back to the earlier point of the game when right. Shadow encounters Mephilus in the present. Uh. But, like, right. at that point, like, it's. Like. It's just. It's just a. Uh, it's a mess. Is there. There are no rules. People can just time travel at will, and for some reason... Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I think one of the things... Yeah, one of the things that just starts, like... Because a lot of time... Because, like, time travel, I feel like... Like, like time travel can be done really well, but, like, you gotta respect it. And, like, I think yeah. a lot of times... I, I hate when, like, time travel is, like, thrown in. That would be Sonic 06. <laughs> like, it's like... Well, I put a beacon right on spawn. Nice. Um, if you create a fourth beacon, the original one will disappear, so it doesn't matter too much. Well, I've, I'm just busy dying. But yeah. <coughs> Alright, we've probably talked a lot enough about time travel. Yeah. As much as I love Point about the, the, the lesson here is Sonic 06 is a bad game. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Shoot, I was going to buy it. <laughs> I don't- I think they've delisted it from whatever stores it was on because it got so poor scores, like, like, it was so bad that they, like, delisted it from everything it was on. Yeah. Being so, like, if you wanted a copy, right? you'd have to, like, look for used, like, Xbox 360 or whatever PlayStation game copy it was. you have to you... look for used copies. Well, if we're talking about really bad... <laughs> Let's talk about how we're doing this round. 
Hey, that's a nice transition! <laughs> yeah, smooth We transition. are doing really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a problem. Let's talk about... What's your favorite meat? I have no idea. My favorite meat, I think, has got to be lamb. I have never had lamb, and it doesn't... It honestly doesn't sound too appealing, but... What kind? Of, what do you like sounds... in your meat? I don't know. I'm... I'm a bit more of, like, a fast foody kind of person, so... Like... Really, beef and chicken are what I have most of the time. Uh, I really like me some steak. Steak. Uh, and I dislike I chicken. I have a some problems with steak. Why do you dislike steak? I don't know. It's some, like, it's a pain to, like, eat. Because, like, you've got to, like, cut off all, like, the fat and, like, and then like well, air. I found a way to I found a way to get around that. And then like you, you like just... some bites of it just are just it's like a little too chewy sometimes. Wow. Like that flavor I don't. Okay, you I, probably I don't wouldn't like lamb. <laughs> Cause see, I like to eat the fat. <laughs> Ugh! Yeah, no, I I, I consume I just that. It's glorious. Fatty. Um. Yeah. No. Mom, correct me if I'm wrong, but lamb has quite a bit of fat on it usually. Like I wouldn't say it's like like you could definitely have like I've definitely had a, like lamb where they it was too much fat, but like good like normal lamb could still have quite a bit of it. That being said, I, I mean, for me that's great. I yeah, I like hate um fatty food. Whoops, like I fat always... on like steak and stuff. Yeah. I won't judge you for being like this. <laughs> Not kidding. <sighs> no, no, I kid it was yeah. yeah, that I guess that makes sense, but it's I, I know what you mean. I just tastes really good. <laughs> I just um So I very much steak, just have kind of the, like... So if we ever eat steak... So I should take you to a steakhouse so I get most of your steak. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Anyway, I just like the texture of chicken. I actually think tick chicken is, like... Most ways I have chicken. Uh, there are exceptions. Uh, uh, the fast food version of chicken is usually so far away from what chicken is actually supposed to be like that it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so yeah. far away from what chicken should probably taste like that it's fine. Yeah. Uh, but, also, like, uh, chicken and, like, dumplings, chicken and, like, like orange chicken, like... Oh, that uh, kind of, that's, that's done, really good. Like, that's done really well, like, I'll, I'll say. Like, that that's pretty, done pretty well. But, like, the, mo like, the western chicken, like, the western... I probably should, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say the Western chicken, but whatever chicken. Yes, mom. Normal chicken. Whenever I'm like, whenever I'm eating something that like chicken, it's either like too greasy or hmm. too dry or both at the same time. How is something too greasy and too dry at the same time? Well, it's like it's greasy and that's a grease texture, but that's like only over the top and like the actual thing itself is too dry. Or like the the taste is like too taste like I don't like the taste of chicken generally too much, except again for like the examples I mentioned above. Mm -hmm. And it's really weird. Uh so but 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 it's I, I always it's like the bread of of meat. <laughs> and I know I I promised I'd stop doing analogies because this is this is why. Uh, <laughs> but like, it's like where like if you try to eat bread, you just end up like chewing flavor. Like eventually you just end up having to like, yeah, chew you're... through the flavor stuff. That always happens with chicken. 
Like, I'm just like, so like, I found like, to find myself with like a mouthful of chicken and I just gotta keep on chewing and chewing and chewing. Till eventually it's gone. And it's like. It's like. Like, way beyond it's lost any appeal that I didn't even like it in the first place. But that's. But yeah. That's how I feel about chicken. Why hey. not? I like chicken, but like, yeah, I yes. can kind of understand. I can understand why. Yeah. Some people wouldn't. And I can, I can pretty much guess that you probably wouldn't like lamb, but yeah, it was I... really. Did I tell you? Uh, cause, cause I've been eating. I used. I, I pretty much I eat lamb annually. Uh, and that's a story on its itself. Maybe I'll talk about that during the Splatfest episode. But I used to, but basically, since I used, to, like, uh, since I, since I pretty much have eaten, like, lamb annually, when I was, like, a little kid, people would ask, hey, what's your favorite food? And I'd be like, lamb. And they're like, oh, did you say ham? And I was like, no, lamb. And it's like, why is this, like, six-year-old, like, answering his favorite food is, like, lamb? Because it's not really the kind of thing you think... <laughs> Like a, yeah. like a young child, like, to, to really like, but, nah. You really didn't get any better. I mean, you would say lamb and bacon and sushi. People would be like, what? Oh. Oh. Yeah, bacon's not So then not I guess, too. like, other meats, like, turkey's good, um... Ham isn't, uh... Uh, I, d I just like... I like lunch meat turkey. Yeah. Turkeys, I... Yeah. I don't really like tur I don't. I haven't had much turkey, uh... Yeah, it really like, is the lunch meat kind that I generally yeah. have. Because I don't like... I think I don't like... I like lunch meat turkey better than lunch meat ham, but I think I like ham better than turkey in general. Like, it, mm. not lunch meat form. Because uh, turkey is somewhat similar to chicken, but... I think I haven't had very much turkey, but I've definitely had like some. And the, uh, if you haven't noticed by the fact that I, I'm like out of the group, uh, we're definitely we're we're like at 28 minutes. Oh, huh. Yeah, we got somewhat absorbed. So. So well, I guess yeah. Tommy and I will do this match, and then we'll swip up, switch. Switch. We'll meet you in Salmon Run. So yeah, thanks for flying with the flight ship. When it comes to entertainment, we know you have a choice, and we thank you for flying with the flight ship. We hope you continue to the next episode of our flight, and consider joining our frequent flyers program by hitting the subscribe button.